Coach and Journey, Polly Ben, and we got Western Carolina in the house. And, you know, big loss against Southern Alabama. But, hey, you know, when you got a, when you got the old F S uh, FBS school in town paying you to lose, it, you know, you're probably going to lose. So, the idea, now we got uh, Western Carolina, what is it, the Catamounts. What the fuck's a catamount? No clue. Either way, we're here in the Southern Conference, Western Carolina. Let's go out there and see what we can do. Build up this team, get some possibility. Uh, let's go get the stadium a little bit repaired, get the fans a little happier, and get the rehab facility repaired a little bit. And let's go in. Again, last season, Tennessee Tech was building. They were building on a, on a potential offensive juggernaut, which they have again. But when you go ahead and you throw three interceptions in the first game, doesn't matter who you're playing against, you're not giving yourself an opportunity to win. And Jameson Blair takes the first grab. Tight spiral. And again, this offense is going to be able to compete with anybody in the nation. They believe that. Their defense can't stop anybody, though. So that happened once again. And the key to this, any kind of victory for Tennessee Tech is for them to actually hold on to the football and not throw the ball to the other team. All right, that's how you're going to win this game because you've got to go score for score uh, with the opponent. And good timing routes, good ball placement is going to be crucial. And the senior running back, Nezo Cha, gets it. It's about third and inches to give it right back to him. Goes straight up the middle. Or to the right side. Gain of two. Dives over for the first down. Once again, and the ball keeps on moving. And the chains keep on moving. Freshman die. Second reception of his career. First down there. They're going to try to get him involved in the game. They brought him in again to kind of compliment Jamison Blair, the junior wide receiver. The stud of this team. And it's looking good so far. And it's going to be third down and inches after an incomplete. Looking at their options, where they're going to go with the ball. And quarterback just keeps it himself. Dies for a gain of six to about the two and a half yard line. And Jamison Blair's taking it. 50 career touchdowns. And that is for Coach Bolly Ben. That's not a great st stat after now his, this is the start of his fourth full season at the helm. In the first couple of seasons, the offense has not been existent. Again, there's that defense again, giving up an easy touchdown, two-point conversion, out without any resistance as well. You know, they're not even making it tough. And again, they got to build. You know, they got to keep some players, get some defenders in there. This quarterback has a couple more years left, and they got to get into field goal range. Again, this they got a freshman kicker, so he hasn't been tested yet. Didn't get an opportunity in the first week. And Dye is trying to get out of bounds. Can't get out of bounds. Clock keeps on ticking, but a first down nonetheless. And trying to figure out where to go with the football here. Gets it out to the tight end. Nice little catch. Out of bounds. There you go. And it's not a good throw. Picked. Dye is able to get it in. Timeout. Cross 50. That was a dangerous throw. But the freshman wide receiver were able to bring it in. 11 seconds to go in the half here. Trying to at least get a little bit more room. Does just that. 3, 2, 1, timeout. Field goal unit on. And it's up. And it's no good. Wide right. Wasted opportunity. And there you go, Western Carolina. The Catamounts. Able to go down and get a score. And they go for the, the opt for the one-point kick. So that benefits... Uh, Tennessee Tech a little bit here. They can drive, make use of the clock here, make it their friend. Don't score too quickly. You know, the defense can't do much. This is the moment you're waiting for, right? The comebacks. Get the clock. Tick. Let the clock tick. Let the clock tick. Die. Stays in bounds. First down. Just what they want. Quick out. All right. There we go. Scanning the opportunities. Die once again. Makes it happen. And if they can score, I mean, if they can score here. Oh, nice diving catch by Anuwalu. 
Great opportunity there across the 50 yard line and out of bounds. Okay, so they're going to go a little, they're often for a little bit more speed here. I don't know if that's a great idea because their defense can't stop anybody. So, you know, they don't score. If they got to score quick and keep it in this third quarter to give them any kind of time. And it doesn't look like they're doing that. But Dye's having himself a game here. Dives in there for another first down. That's the end of the third quarter. Going to the fourth quarter. James Blair, Jamison Blair's on the top of the screen. Get it back to Dye. Once again, this freshman is having a great game here. In his second college game of his career. Jamison Blair in there for the touchdown. And this team is going to go for two. What you going to do? And not able to bring it in. They're down by one. With a minute left to go, down by eight. They got to they gotta execute. Got to have some big plays to drive. So this is a big opportunity for Western Carolina to probably cause a big turnover because this team has, got, has weapons. All right? No weapons on... Uh, I hope it's on defense, but they can go quick. And depends on where they want to go. Jamison Blair's breaking some tackles. He's making it happen. Cross the 40. The guy's got his wheels. Cross the 30 to the 20. 15. Out of bounds for a gain of 60, just like they wanted it. Again, they don't have a chance to win here, but pushed. There it is. So they're going to go for two points. That's definitely what they have to do here. Figuring out what they need to do. Going to cause an audible. One more audible. And Anuahalu gets the two-point conversion. They're going to kick it away. And it's overtime. They missed the extra point. Big opportunity to win it in overtime. They just got to protect the football. Up by six. They need, of course, to move the ball. They don't have to worry about the clock. And to the 20-yard line they go. Third down and five. Where are they going to go with it? Make the right play. Freshman die comes in. Gain of 16 inside the five-yard line. Where are they going? Where are they going to go with the ball? It's fucking intercepted. Oh, my God. They had an opportunity, threw it into traffic, and the game is over. Tennessee Tech had a fourth quarter. Oh, man, that's brutal. Brutal way to lose. Another overtime loss. Coaching once again. Oh, my. Hansi had a great game as well until that moment. Study time. Let's get these guys' GPAs up. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. All right. So we got Texas A&M Commerce heading back there. Week four. See you guys.